Okay, let's get into this. Open creature, obviously, and go to new file. Just click there and just keep up with the main settings. Don't change the resolution yet. If this is your first project, just hit create. And you're gonna have a beautiful white canvas. Now, we don't need this setup, okay? Uh, you get a background layer and a layer. So go to Window Workspace Animation and you're gonna get the Workspace for Animation. Now, first things first, you notice that your brushes are moved, they're over there. Don't worry, it's fine. And for whatever reason, I have my uh, eraser on. Anyway, we're gonna remove a couple of windows, go to uh, settings, and then dockers, and then advanced color selection. Move that on your left over there next to the two options, which we will use eventually. You can move this down so you can see your color wheel and your two options. Underneath that, you're gonna see you have two layers background layer, which is locked, and the normal layer. Uh, first things first, I want to hit a brown for my character because my character will fall from the sky because, you know, gravity. You can click, double click on your layer and you can call this line, you can lock that layer and from the first button you can hit a new layer. We're gonna call this sketch, where we're gonna make a sketch of our character. Obviously I'm on the line too, I'm gonna by clicking on the brush. And remember kids, don't worry if you don't hit your amazing lines for the first time remember there's always control and z or z or i don't know how you call it but it's this one this combination control and z will save your line maybe not but you can still try it, it will not work though no, in real life but in creative control and z is the command for undo right now we're gonna sketch a simple character now if you don't feel confident uh sketching 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 uh a complicated characters just try with some simple shapes this is our bear character now you can use my character you can use your character it doesn't matter now we do have a sketch layer which we're gonna use mainly this layer for our reference now is how we will gonna do the front part of this which is the most consuming consuming part is the actual animation how the animation in Krita works very simple if you're gonna do frame by frame animation obviously Krita has to offer you frames uh, why we did switch the the working space is because we're gonna get our animation timeline which is over there now how does this work in Krita, the layer that you're gonna create, you can create a new layer from over there. And uh, good practice is to name your layers. So I'm gonna make a new layer named Animation. And that animation layer, if you notice, it will appear in my animation timeline. So every layer that you create, potentially, it will have, will appear actually in your animation timeline. On every layer that you see there, you're gonna get blank keyframes. And those black keyframes, you can add draw a drawing inside every single frame. Now you don't have to do that because if you know a little bit about animation, you will know stuff about spacing and timing. Uh, so it doesn't matter how many drawings you're going to draw in each frame, you can space that in order to get a fluid animation. So that's what we're going to do today. First things first, we need to create a black keyframe, which is from that button over there. And automatically, on your animation layer, you're going to spot that on that uh, little frame, <laughs> little blank uh, square, if you will. Now we, it, um, we have a dot. And on that dot, uh, it indicates that we have a keyframe, a black keyframe. So, first things first, I'm going to... I think my animation will be straight ahead to be honest, so straight ahead that means no plan at all. It's not ideal, but here we go. I'm gonna draw my character uh, that will fall from the sky, so I'm gonna use my reference that I created. Uh, and I'm gonna try to make his arms spread from the side, and we're gonna make him fall-ish. Now we're not gonna see the whole character because he's gonna fall from the sky out of frame, as we know. And uh, yeah, first that's that's gonna be our first drawing on our first keyframe, which is uh, by default in Krita, every keyframe, every animation will start from uh, keyframe number zero. You can see the numbers in keyframe over there. The next great thing is once you draw, you can manipulate your drawing. Uh, you can use the selection. Uh, uh, 
tools and you can transform it transform you transform transform to and you can move around the canvas which is great and you can deform every element that you think it needs to be deformed once we have our basic animation done uh, we can start actually cleaning that animation how you clean your lines is by simply creating a new layer then on that layer you can follow the, the animation layer that we create now that animation layer we can lower the opacity of that layer so we can see easily our lines as i mentioned before it's important to space out the animation to get something fluid okay so now it's time for us to color our animation and uh in printer of five point something whatever the kind of added a new feature that i don't know how to use and the field tool which is over there also i i think I, either i broke it or or it's broken online the idea is to fill the gaps on your lines and fill them with your with your color that you want how to do that actually uh, once your lines are done your cleanup animation now you can create a new layer again and make that layer to be beneath the lines layer now you can remove you can hide your rough animation and you can start coloring same thing you create new frame on every new drawing that you have and you can color that drawing uh, if my line of light if my filter was working properly and it, it will color much faster but apparently it's not so i'm, I'm kind of struggling here anyway let's just get into this uh, for here and after hours of misery actually 30 minutes so far I think I made my uh, animation character, which technically I wanted to do it in 5 minutes, but once you know how to do it, you can do it too. Uh, uh, that's not technically bad, okay? I'm trying, I will edit this as, as much as I can. But this is our character, we added a background to our background layer. Uh, in order to manipulate your background layer, just remember to move the lock button. And now we can export, actually we can render our animation by going to render. And if you have your FFFFFMPEG build up, you will be able to render your animation into GIF or video, and you're good to go, and you will have this. And that's that. It's almost five minutes, I think. I hope. Uh, I try to make short tutorials now, okay? I hope you appreciate that. And, uh, you know, uh, hit the like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, then, then don't hit like i guess and make sure you subscribe for more of these i have a bunch here on this channel uh it's called crash course in Krita. so if you want to know more uh, just click on crash course stream and i will see you in the next one